a YouTuber with almost 1 million subs that's spearheading an NFT draw that's about anime. Sounds a little bit crazy, but let's jump in and check out Omni <laughs> First up, I wanna say if you could hit up that like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Also down the bottom, there are chapters so you can fast forward to the sections that you want to help you navigate the video easier. This is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your own research before jumping into the NFT space. Omni Legion is a 9,999 uh, anime, so profile picture project, but they've got an interesting little spin on it. What they're going to be doing is they're actually going to be running this into a an anime series on YouTube. And they've got seven different elemental gods, which will then obviously play um, different characters against each other throughout the series. Before I go on, I want to say a big shout out has to go out to Hustle Millennial. I was actually watching his um, video on this and then thought I'd actually kind of do my own due diligence, do a reach out and then kind of actually have an interview with the founder himself to kind of get his take and his perspective on it. So a big shout out to Hustle Millennial. You can actually check out his video up here. I'll link it after you've watched this video, of course. Back to Omni Legion. So basically, like I said before with Omni Legion, they want to turn this into a fully animated YouTube series. Now, when it comes down to the team, we've got Joe, we've got the head designer, and you've got everyone's kind of doxxed here, um, kind of partially. Um, but with the CEO, when we actually head over and have a look at his YouTube channel, we can see here he's got 945 thousand subscribers which is a very huge influence when it comes down to a project and some weight to kind of push and move things forward now the thing about setting up a youtube anime series is the fact that joe's actually big enough on youtube that he knows how the system works and he knows how he can actually kind of um, leverage some of his weight and his uh sort of relationships to actually get that off the ground and get it going right. So that is a tick when it comes down to the project. And then down below, we've got a breakdown of what the seven elements are. And then coming down to the roadmap, the roadmap, nothing groundbreaking uh, when it comes down to a roadmap in the beginning stages, um, kind of what you would expect when you get down to a roadmap with giveaways and um, ETH giveaways, prizes, things like that. One thing I will point out is that it says at 100% minted, they'll begin writing the script for the upcoming anime series. So there could be an issue um, that you'd run into if it does not sell out 100% um, and then the project stalling. Uh, when it comes down to the anime, they've got this insane promo. It runs for almost two minutes and they've put this together. Now, I like that they've actually put this together beforehand because it shows that um, they're actually dedicated to the project. It's unlike um, saying that they're going to create a game or they're going to create something. They've actually put something together almost like a, a proof of concept. So this actually has decent sound design and I can kind of see where the inspiration comes from when we kind of get some fighting aspects when it comes down to anime. Now heading over onto their Twitter, what we can see here is they've got 8,600, so almost 8,700 followers. And then when it comes down to the amount of engagement, look, there's sort of uh, 147 comments, almost 700 retweets. It's not bad. Um, it'd be nice to get this up closer to 1,000, um, but overall it's not terrible. Um, it'd be really bad if we were seeing uh, ones and twos. And then when it actually does come down to the promo itself on Twitter, it got 32,000 views, which is nice to see that it actually had a little bit of a run up and some um, exposure. If this was sitting at around sort of three or 4,000 views, then I'd be a little bit worried. The fact it's got 32 means it's kind of show, seen enough eyeballs to kind of um, get a little bit of momentum and awareness out there. And then jumping over onto their Discord, they've got 8,100, almost 8,200 members. Now, uh, the chat, they're currently, um, it's currently going off a little bit. They are doing uh, a little bit of trivia. So you can see um, people are in there having a bit of fun, which is good. And then when it comes down to the sneak peeks, it would have been nice to see these kind of pop up to around um, maybe 50% of what the followers are. Um, it, or the members in the Discord. So if we got this collectively to around the 4,000 mark, then I'd feel a little bit more comfortable. Um, but overall, it's not terrible engagement. It's bad when you're kind of only seeing 10 and 20 in the uh, first few uh, reaction. Now what I actually did is I reached out to Joe and I wanted to actually kind of see if he'd line up and do a talk on camera because I feel that if you can hear these founders talking in their own words about the project, it then helps you make a better decision when it comes down to investing in a project. And I reached out and said, hey, I want to do a video. And I was like, to be clear, I don't want any payment or free NFTs. Um, if we could do in a mini interview about the project, then that would be ideal. It gives me a chance to dive into the project myself, like we've just done, but get him to explain the details and his motivations. And he's like, I would love to do that. So anyway, here is the interview that I had with Joe a little bit earlier. 
Hey Joe, thanks for coming on. How are you going? Uh, everything's good, man. I appreciate you having me. To get into it, um, with Omni Legion, what's the sort of motivation and the idea behind it? So it was definitely anime inspired. I mean, you can see from our art, it's you know, it's something that you would see in any of your your favorite animes that you might watch or that you you've come across. It's uh, something that I've been passionate about since you know I was younger, and it's kind of what I grew up watching. And now I have the opportunity to essentially take this project and turn it into my own. So that's something that's really exciting to me. So how did you and the team come together for this? I kind of went in two different directions. It was not only people that I knew and I trusted, but also people that, you know, in terms of working with our artists and our animators, people that I felt that could really bring my vision to life. You know, I had the vision in my head, but I'm not an artist, I can't draw. So, you know, working with a team that I knew could put their style on it, but also kind of take the ideas out of my head and bring it to life was a big thing for me. So you're big on YouTube and you're kind of big in that sort of 2K and that gaming space. So I guess the obvious question is why didn't you kind of lean more towards a basketball style NFT and why did you go more towards um, this anime style? It was more, it was a passion of mine. It was something that I wanted to do. You know, yeah, I guess from a business perspective, maybe like you said, it would have been easier to go with the basketball that I've, you know, built my audience around. But for me, it was something that I thoroughly enjoy. Like working on this project is something that has been, you know, really rewarding for me in terms of bringing something that I've always loved throughout my, you know, like I said, from when that time I was a child to now, and I have the opportunity to bring it to life. So that was, you know, the passion behind it, the love for it. That was, that was the main reason that we went with this route. And to be honest, a lot of the community that I have built anime is a big thing inside of the nba 2k game itself between you know the the clothing they have in the game actually has you know anime characters and, and anime themes to it because the the audience is so prevalent in our game so it is kind of a cross but uh the main reason is just because i love it i guess um a little bit of a, a curveball question here apart from omni legion and all that what uh like what's an nft project or some of the projects that you've kind of seen around that you kind of like even if they're not big and hyped or anything that you've kind of just, you love to get your hands on or you're kind of bullish on. Yeah. So, I mean, a big one coming up is hate beasts. I, you know, mm. I think anyone in the space has, has yeah. seen that. And, you know, I, I think the art is cool. And, and obviously, you know, when a project with that much hype is always exciting and something that you're looking to get involved with, but also on a smaller side, I mean, uh, projects like uh, Chameleon Collective, uh, Ninja's Hideout, I mean, like those uh, smaller projects that, you know, they're still doing really well and, and you know, they've sold out and, and the, the the team has a vision for the future. You know, I, I, I like the art on those projects and I like, you know, the direction they're going. So I guess for those people where the anime kind of really resonates, I guess what do, what's nostalgic for you? What kind of like takes you back? So what takes me back was, uh, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball yeah. Z, you know, growing up as a kid, like that was everything, you know, seeing Goku and Vegeta and these amazing characters, and then you end up growing attached to them. That was my vision for this project. You know, I thought about what if back then NFTs were around and when Dragon Ball first came out, you know, you minted Goku's NFT. And then now we're 20 years later and this character is so beloved by everyone. Imagine the value of that, you know, like, if you minted that at the start and you held it till now, I mean, most people probably wouldn't even sell it just because it, it would be such a rare thing and such a cool thing to have. But with our project, you know, us planning to launch the anime on YouTube and create this amazing series, you know, it's an opportunity to mint characters before you even really know what those characters can become. So I guess that's a real good segue, which is where do you see the project sort of three, four, five years down the line, like kind of blue sky thinking? The ultimate goal would be to be pick, have the the anime series picked up by you know a Netflix or a, a Hulu, and you're watching the show on that platform. I think you know that would be something that would be groundbreaking in the space. You know, creating a show off of the characters we're creating on the NFTs, I don't think has been done yet, or at least not on the scale that we're looking to do it. So I guess getting down to sort of the details, what are the, um, for sort of everyone out there, what are the release dates, some of those types of things, just a kind of quick top line 
Yeah, so our pre-mint is going to be December 5th. And, you know, if you qualify for the whitelist, you can qualify in our Discord for it pretty easily. Um, as long as, you know, you're just active in the community. And we also do a lot of uh, whitelist giveaways on Twitter. So really just being active, you have a really good chance to end up on that whitelist. And uh, so December 5th, and we're giving the discounted price of 0.05 uh, Ethereum. And then the official launch will be December 6th. And that's at 0.06 Ethereum. Anyway, Joe, thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Easy to talk to you later. Bye. So as you can see from the interview, some of my thoughts when it came down to it was I wanted to kind of dive in on why he chose to do anime and not something basketball related. And like he said, a business move would have been easily take what he already knows and kind of just spin that up. But the fact that he's got a passion for the anime and he wants to kind of build out that series, that's where that driving motivation comes from. And I like his honesty when it comes down to the fact that he's not the artist, he doesn't know how to draw and he's getting some artists on board to kind of do that. And then seeing the promo that they actually put out there shows that they have um, some way to actually execute that. So when it comes down to Omni Legion, will I be buying into this project? What I will do is I'll be keeping a close eye on the project in the Discord and the Twitter to kind of see what's happening and see how the momentum builds and using almost what I've seen as a um, timestamp to kind of see how the um, momentum continues. One thing I will say about the project is they've made it easy uh, for you to kind of level up to then get onto the whitelist and they kind of break this down here, which is nice to see. So for those of you that like to get in and wanna do some grinding and get on the whitelist, you can do that. Should you buy into this project? This is the kind of thing where if you are a fan of Joe or you have consumed some of his content, then this is an easy yes when it's jumping into the project. If you're a fan of the anime genre and you kind of want to um, be along for the ride and see how the anime series kind of um, pans out, then this may also be worth it. But the reason that I wanted to actually do that interview with Joe is that I know that I have somewhat of an influence and if I'm able to kind of convince someone to kind of uh, jump on camera have a bit of a talk about their project, you're able to then hear the motivations about the project themselves without having to kind of dive through discords and dive through tweets and see if they actually care about the project. One thing I will say uh, about Joe is that he's actually changed his Twitter profile to an Omni Legion. He's got it in his Twitter bio. It doesn't look like he's just a front man for a project. It looks like he's kind of putting some effort behind it. So overall, I hope you found value in this video. I hope you were able to kind of um, get the information that you wanted when it came down to um, the questions and answers with Joe and understand if this is a project that you'd like to move into. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And as always, it's been a pleasure having you with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next one.